how to edit the checkout page in wix hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great and this video will take you step by step on exactly what you need to do to um, edit your checkout page in your wix website now there's a lot of confusion when it comes to editing the checkout uh, page because usually what people do is just they go to you know their wix homepage, they go to sites and a mobile app and they go to edit site and then from here uh, when they actually want to edit the actual checkout page they don't end up finding it well you won't find it because because it's not here what you can actually edit from this editor is the cards page um, and with the card page you can do quite a lot of things you know you can just go to pages home and you can see you can find only the cards page you can go to that and you can customize it to your liking but this is the page that will lead to the checkout page it's not going to be the actual checkout page now unfortunately when it comes to wix they don't really give you a lot of um things to do when it comes to the checkout page uh for this one i will come back to this later the card page but for the checkout itself you will need to actually exit out of here i mean i just need to verify that we don't really have any checkout page here as you can see uh nothing that says checkout page so in reality if you want to edit the checkout page you will need to just go to the actual dashboard of your uh, wix website so just go to your uh, manage your wix and then from here you will need to go ahead scroll completely down to uh, until you find settings we will need to access settings in order to edit the checkout page uh, because we don't really edit it like any other page click on settings and you should find it as the first option here uh, if not for you, then it's, it should be around here somewhere within the actual settings. But for me, it's going to be the first one. So check out, customize your checkout form, set policies, and manage order emails and more. Now, here's the thing. If we click on that, we'll be able to customize our checkout. But not in terms of how it looks like, uh, what uh, elements we want to add in, like pictures or whatever it may be. If you can't really uh, change there's a lot of things that you can't really change uh but here's the things that we can actually work on so let me just take you through them one by one uh the first thing which is the most important one was go is going to be basically the checkout form so here we can just click on edit and we can just edit the form and what it actually includes within the form itself so here email first name last name uh last name is a required uh element i don't think we can actually change that um but those are going to be the default uh fields as you can see phone number and then we have country and region uh, address city uh and then the postal code or zip and now here we don't really have uh, a lot of things here we can also add company name just click on it uh and you can just you know I don't think you can actually go ahead and move it around you can move it around from this section uh, again not a lot of freedom when it comes to what you can do here so you can go to company name go to settings if you wanted to uh set things up here but it's not really even working for me uh or i believe it, yeah it's on the right side here so you can actually make it a required field for example but for the time being i'm just going to delete this because we don't really require company name but for example, you actually want to create your very own field, click on create field. And then here we can select the type of answer we would want to have for this. So for example, we would want to have a long answer for the sake of it. Uh, and here we would want to obviously click on it, click on settings and go here and change the title to something that is more fitting to what we need. So we would type in something like uh, add a description. Obviously, this is just a example i don't know what you would actually want to add here as a field but for the sake of it i'm just adding um this field right here and for example you actually want to make it uh, a required field so just again click on it on the right side you can just click on required field and if you want to have placeholder holder text you can also do that but you would want to change it so uh let's click on that again change this text to something more uh give a detailed description 
uh, of whatever it may be that I was trying to say here. Again, this is just an example. I'm, I'm really bad with examples, I, I have to say. Uh, but then here we have also field description if you want to add that as well. I don't really recommend it. It's going to be beneath it. Uh, and then we have personal information, uh, which I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know what that is. I believe it's we protect personally identify information like addresses. Oh, okay. So if it's something that is um, uh, like, you know, it's actually an important sort of document or data, like their first name, last name, phone number, or something about their company, you would want to check this. Uh, if it's like a description or whatnot, we don't really need to do that. And yeah, we can just make things a little bit bigger or smaller if you uh, you would like. I believe for all of them. And yeah, we can see it uh, from here. If you want to add more stuff like uh, a text or header, we can also do so. Uh, customer details. I don't believe we can actually change this text, but we can add our own text if you would like. We can, after this, we can just go ahead and click on uh, preview. And it's just going to show us exactly how it's going to look like. And sadly, we don't really get a lot of options to choose from when we want to customize it to our liking. But for the time being, we will just click on save. And we can just uh, go back to check out settings. And here we have more stuff here. So subscription opt in checkbox uh, box. This is going to ask customers um if they want to basically subscribe to your email list or sms so if you have those and you want to ask subscribers then go for it check this uh, and then you can just uh have it checked by default or not i highly recommend that you just keep it off um or if you want to you know make them subscribe to you without you know asking them just keep it on if you want but yeah, they're going to ask them now whether they want uh, to join your SMS or email list. I'm just going to keep it off. And then here we have the policies. So this is going to be very important if you want to set up your return policy, uh, privacy policy, and so on. So you would want to check those in. And obviously, not just check them, but add them. So your return policy, you will need to paste it over here. Same goes for privacy policy and terms and condition uh, conditions here as well. Same goes for digital product policy and custom policy if you have any. So if you have any of those, make sure you check them and do them, create them, have them. Contact us. This is going to be a link. So you can just go ahead, add uh, all your contact information that they can contact you through. Uh, this will be a clickable link in the footer that opens up, uh, opens a pop up with your info. So not everyone is going to see it. Only those who actually want to contact you will be able to see them. And then here, payments are going to be invoices, gift cards, or just, you know, leave them as it is if you want to only accept payments through the payment methods you have already set up using settings. Uh, if you have not done that yet, just go to this one right here, which is very conveniently, conveniently placed. Click on that and set up your uh, payments and how you want to accept them. Now, this is pretty much all we can do with Wix in order to uh, edit the checkout page. But like I said, if you want, uh, you can just go to the, or not if you want, you can customize the cards page, which is not the checkout page. Uh, but this is the best thing we can actually do close enough to customizing how the checkout page is going to look like. Uh, with that being said, this is pretty much... Um, how to do it. I hope that you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.